In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to easily create human-like and SEO-optimized blog posts with relevant images, videos, links, and up-to-date citations using SEO Writing AI. I will also show you how to automate the entire process and publish your blog posts directly to your WordPress website all from inside your SEO Writing AI dashboard. About two to three years ago, writing quality blog posts took a lot of time because you had to do keyword research, put your content together, go through multiple revisions, and try to optimize your content for search engines. Then in November of 2022, we got ChatGPT and it made things easier. You could use it to find keywords, research a topic, explain concepts, and it can basically help you save a lot of time when it comes to creating content. But ChatGPT and of course other similar large language models still had major limitations, like you still need to spend a lot of time trying to figure out the right prompts to use, and even if you eventually get the prompting right, ChatGPT generated content is far from what a human rating content would look like in terms of the quality, the tone, and the readability. And since there's a limit in terms of the number of words that ChatGPT can generate in a single response, you just cannot get ChatGPT to help you write one long comprehensive blog post, let's say in a case where you want a blog post with over 2,000 words, except you want to break the whole thing down into multiple sessions. That is why I started using SEO Writing AI for my content, because SEO Writing AI does not have any of these limitations I don't have to learn prompt engineering. I just need to put in the keyword I want to rank for. And this software will basically help me handle the rest and give me a complete article that I can share on my website. And this has made content creation way more easier for me. I have tried so many AI content writers and so far, SEO Writing AI is the best I've seen when it comes to creating high quality blog posts. You can basically use SEO Writing AI to create complete blog posts with good readability, pass AI detection tests, and also rank high on Google. So let's jump into my laptop screen. Let me show you how it works and how you can start using it for your content as well. The first thing you need to do is to set up a new SEO writing account. And if you open the description of this video, you are going to see this link right there. This is the first link you will see under this video. And this link will allow you to sign up for free and start using SEO writing AI without any commitment. So just go ahead and click on the link. Now you will see this button, get started, it's free and no credit card required. So just go ahead and click on it. Then you can proceed to sign up either with your Google account or enter your name, email address, set a password for yourself, and then click on sign up to set up your brand new account. Once you log into your account, this is what your dashboard will look like. And you can see right here, we have a lot of options. You could use the one click blog post to create a complete article in just a single click, or you also have the bulk article generation that you can use to create up to 100 articles in one single click. And then there's this really cool tool called the Humanizer tool that you can use to rewrite your articles to make it sound more human-like and more readable. Right now, we are going to focus on one-click blog post, so just go ahead and click on it. And this is where you get to see how easy it is to create content with SEO Writing AI. Here, you just want to enter your main keyword. I have a food blog right here, so I'll be creating a blog post for this blog, and I can just come over here and enter the main keyword for the article I want to create. And the main keyword is quick and easy dinner recipes under 30 minutes. Then you can go ahead and click on generate a title so that SEO Writing AI will help you get a relevant title for your blog post, or if you like, you can enter the title you want to use manually. Then you can come over to the course settings. Here, you can select the language for your article. For me, it is English. Then you can also set the size. How long do you want your article to be? You can start from small, medium, and large. Medium is between 2,000 to 3,600 words, and small is between 1,200 to 2,400 words. So I'm going to use small, so that's within the range of 1,000 to 2,000 words. Then you can also select the tone you want to use for your article. And you can see that you have a number of options. You can use friendly, professional, informational, transactional, inspirational, depending on how you want to present your content to your readers. I'm going to use the friendly tone. And then you also have the option to select the AI model 
that SEO writing AI will use for your article. Notice the color of the cycles in front of each model. The greener the color, the more advanced the model, which means the better quality content you are going to get. But that also means it is going to cost more. For instance, if I use GPT-4 Turbo, you're going to see that it will take seven generations and seven times word count. So if you are doing this with your API key, that's something you should take note of. But basically, just select the AI model that you like to use. Then here, you can select the point of view. Let's say if you are sharing a personal story, you'd want to use first person singular with I, me, my, and all of that. Or if it's like a tutorial where you give people instructions, you would want to use you, yours. So basically select the point of view that you like to use. For this article, I'm going to use first person singular and then select your target country. I'm going to select the United States. And then over here, you have this feature to humanize text. And this one is very important for me because sometimes AI chatbots tend to make things really difficult and their writings are really hard to understand. But with this, you can select the readability level that you like to have for your article. And there are a number of options here, starting from fifth grade to 12th grade. The higher the grade, the more difficult it is to understand. The recommended grade is eighth to ninth grade, but I like to use sixth grade because it is really, really easy to read. And that's how I want my articles to sound. So select sixth grade, which is conversational language. And then scroll down here. If there are specific details you want to include in the article, you can add them here. But I'll just scroll down to Media Hub. And this is where you get to set how images and videos will appear in your article. So for AI images, I'm going to select yes. But if you don't want images, you can also select none. That's up to you. So I'll select yes. The number of images, I'm going to use four. And then for the image style, I'll use photo. You can also select the image size you want to use, but I'll just keep it at the default value so that we'll have 16 by 9 images. Then the next place is for videos. You can select if you want to add videos to your content. So SEO Writing AI will basically go to YouTube and look for relevant videos that fit into your article and place them in the appropriate locations. So if you want to include videos in your article, you can just set that here. The number of videos you want to have, let's say I'm going to use two videos. And then for the layout options, you can select how the AI will place the images and the videos in your article. Alternate image and video. So image will come first, video, image, and all of that. Or you can do alternate video and image, or first images, then videos, or first videos, and then images. I'm going to use alternate image and video. And then if you want the images and the videos in your article to appear strictly under headings, you can just check this but I'm going to leave that. Then we can scroll down to the SEO section. This is where you can get to add the keywords for your article, or you can just click here to generate relevant keywords for this particular article. And then we can come over to structure. And here you can select the style you want to use for the introduction of your article. I want to use a personal story. So I'll select personal or emotional, then over here, you can select if you want to have these elements in your article. Conclusion, tables, H3 headers, list, italics, quotes, key takeaways, FAQs, bold text. I'm going to use yes for all of this. And then we can scroll down to internal linking. And with this feature, as you're writing AI, will link this article to other articles on your blog. So it basically helps you build internal links automatically. I'm going to show you how to link your WordPress blog to SEO writing AI so that you can start using this feature. Then we can go over to external linking. And this is also very important for SEO, linking to other relevant websites. And SEO writing AI can help you do that automatically as well. So I'm going to select automatic external linking and then select number of links that you want to add to your article. I'm going to use five to seven, the placement evenly throughout, set contextual enrichment to yes. And if you want to do follow or no follow this way, you can get to set that up. And one unique feature with SEO Writing AI is that you can connect it to the web to help you get up-to-date content. The way you use Perplexity AI to search for answers on the web, just that SEO Writing AI is specifically for writing SEO content. So I'm going to select Deep Web for this. Citations, if you want to include citations in your article, then if you want to include the source links, you can do that as well. Then Search Source, I'm going to use Real-Time Search. 
And after entering all of these settings, just scroll back up and then click on Run. Now, in just a few seconds, SEO Writing AI is going to give us a complete and well-written blog post that we can work with. This article is ready and it took about a minute. So let's go ahead and click on it to see what we have. And you can see everything is looking nice. We have images, the videos, different sections. We have tables, we have this FAQ section. This is like 90% of the work you have to do when creating blog posts done for you in less than two minutes. Everything is about 1,500 words. Now let's use Hemingway app to check how good is this article in terms of readability. So I'm going to copy it and then go to Google and search for Hemingway app. Here you can just paste in your content and it is going to show you the level of readability for this article. And you can see that for this, we have grade six, which is good. And this is probably better than what you would have written if you decide to go through the stress of writing this article by yourself. But before you go ahead to publish it, I recommend you take the time to go through it if you need to edit any part, if you have a personal story or a personal experience that you can include, that will be very helpful in helping the quality of your content. Now, you might be wondering if it is possible for this article to rank on Google. According to Google themselves, the quality of your content is more important than how you create it. So whether human written content or AI generated content, it does not really matter to Google as long as your content is providing value to people. And there's a tool that we can use to actually check how this is going to perform on Google search. So let me just copy this again, open a new browser tab and search for SEO review tools, content analysis. Click on the first link. This tool is basically going to check your content and tell you how well optimized it is to rank on Google. So I'll just paste in my article and then over here, enter your main keyword. So I'll just copy the keyword, place it right here. You can see that right now it is at 71, which is medium. But when we enter the page title and then the meta description, let me copy the description, click on show meta tags to see your title and description, then copy the description come over here and paste. Now you can see that our optimization grade is at 92, which is really high. And there are still some steps that you can follow. You can see the SEO tips right here to increase your SEO optimization. And once you have everything good to go, the next step is to publish it on your website. And if your blog is created on WordPress, you can actually publish it directly from inside SEO Writing AI. So to do that, you can just click on publish, then you need to connect your website. I'll click connect. Now just go to your WordPress dashboard, come over to plugins, click on add new plugin, use the search box and search for SEO writing. I'm going to see this plugin, SEO writing with over 20,000 active installations. So you can see there are a lot of bloggers out there actually using this method. So we can go ahead and install, then activate it immediately. Now come over to settings, Click on SEO writing. You are going to see this button to connect your website. So click connect. And as simple as that, I've successfully connected my WordPress website to my SEO writing account. So we can come over here again and let me just refresh this page and then click publish. All right, so you can see all the sites you've connected will show up here. Just select the website you want to publish this to, select the category, select the author, and then you can also add tags or let SEO Writing AI help you generate the tags automatically. And then you want to select the post status. I'm going to use publish so that to publish it immediately. But if you want to save it to draft, you also have the draft option. Then the URL should be, I'm going to use title. Or if you want it to be like the main keyword of your article, you can select that as well. And then for additional settings, add the first image to the featured image and then also add a meta description to the SF field. After all of this, we can just go ahead and hit publish. And that is done. Now we can check this inside our WordPress dashboard. Here, I'll come over to post. You can see the post we just created. And if I click on view, 
let's see what it will look like on the website and this is looking good and nice so you can see in just a few minutes we've created a complete blog post without any stress and if you need to make any updates you can always do it from inside your wordpress dashboard just come over to post again and then if you click on edit you'll be able to use the wordpress editor to edit your content so guys go ahead and try out seo writing ai and share your experience with me in the comment section now let's take a look at the different plans available on seo writing ai first you can sign up and start using it for free and on the free plan you get five generations five thousand words you also get access to the humanizer tool to write up to five articles top quality ai images and auto citations these are the features we just used so you can start with the free plan and then there's also the starter plan which is $14 per month. And with this, you can create up to 50 articles, unlimited words, and then the professional plan, which is $59 per month for up to 250 articles. You can basically go with the plan that works best for you. The free plan is a good place to start from. And whenever you need to, you can easily scale up to any of the other paid plans. And if you also check the description of this video, you are going to see my 25% discount code. And if you use this code, add down to 25, you get an extra 25% discount on any of the paid plans. So both the sign up link and the discount code will all be under this video. If you have any questions about SEO writing AI, just let me know in the comment section. Or if there's anything else you would like me to cover in another video, drop them in the comment section as well. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.